Welcome back, DCS Hacks fans, for a addendum to Chapter 5 that we were unable to add in that uh, chapter, and it, it will be Formation Wing Landing. That is a simultaneous landing of the wingman with the leader in a loose fingertip position. And this is normally done from a visual straight-in approach, typically around 5 miles, or an instrument approach which is also typically about five miles. Generally, it's done from roughly about two, three quarter to a three degree glide path or glide slope, uh, which means for each nautical mile, you're 300 feet above the ground. And I'll show you that in a moment. And once you have the uh, landing gear lowered, the wingman will now maneuver to what's called a stack level position, putting the leader's head on the horizon so that both aircraft is, are essentially at the same altitude and the gear theoretically would touch down together uh, as the formation touches down onto the runway. Okay, what are we talking about a three degree glide path? Well, if the runway was in the lower left hand corner there, that's the runway. For each nautical mile you go away from the airfield or the runway, you are 300 feet. So at five miles, you'll be at 1500 feet AGL above the ground. Okay, if you factor in uh, Nellis's field elevation of 1869, then the altimeter, the mean sea level display will be 3369. Now, if you use a typical 500 foot per minute vertical descent using your vertical velocity indicator, VVI, then you'll mimic the same thing as an ILS approach, essentially a basic ILS approach. All right. What's that look like at five miles? Well, here's the F5 again uh, as we slow down to achieve our green donut, our optimum angle of attack on the AOA indexer. And the actual airfield is very difficult to see at five miles on DCS, but it's actually right down there at the very bottom of the um, heads up display when you are on a three degree glide path on the green donut. Once you get all the way down to one nautical mile, it will look like this. 300 feet above the ground. This is basically a decision height if you were on an ILS approach. Note I'm on the green donut at this point and the runway is actually there being covered up. And once you get ready to land the aircraft, the wingman will start cross-checking his or her runway alignment to his or her half of the runway and we'll start cross-checking the runway and then transitioning to make their own landing in the center part of their half of the runway. We always treat the center line like a brick wall, so do not cross that so you don't run into your leader or vice versa. So let's take a look at the demo video. Follow along with us now while we're maneuvering VFR back to Nellis Air Force Base. Uh, we're currently about uh, five miles to the southwest in route to heading in about northwesterly heading and we're going to maneuver our way to about roughly about a 10 to 12 mile final approach this would be something similar to what you would do on an instrument approach except we're only at 1500 foot agl here as we're going over the mountains Dragonfly, fence check, bush, tower. Dragonfly, check, lead is 3,000. Two is 3,000. Tower, Dragonfly, five flight, one zero miles in north for straight in the runway, two and right. Get five, five flight, report a five mile final for runway two and right. Dragonfly. 
as we maneuver to, uh, we're currently at about 12 mile final here. We're going to maneuver inside of 10 miles and then we're going to be lowering the gear uh, very shortly. Stand by gear, gear down, ready, now. Two has three gear down on lead. Lead sees three gear down on two. Now in real life, lead would look at the wingman's three gear and give a thumbs up and vice versa for the wingman to the leader, except can't really do that in DCS, so we do it all verbally. Approaching five miles. Tower Dragon 5-5 five, five flight, five mile final, gear down. Dragon 5-5 five, five flight, check wheels down. Winds are 220 at six, clear to land, 2-1 right. Dragon flight, clear to land, gear down. This is about the three mile point at the racetrack. Note the nose high attitude, high angle of attack on the green donut. Two miles. The hardest part about a wing landing from the lead's perspective is doing it very smoothly so that the wingman uh, can have a smooth landing as well. Okay, approaching a mile. Still pitching for the green donut, lowering the nose down to get my green donut back. Adding a little bit of power so I don't land short. And in idle. Another greaser. Garf's view of the wing landing. Remember it should be stacked level so need to get the head of the leader on the horizon so you can also see the upper surface of the wing as well. He's transitioning to the runway now to make sure that he does his own landing on his half of the runway. Another greaser. Action replay. And there you have it. Thanks for coming along on our wing landing, formation wing landing. Till next time, keep on flying. Hey, let's help Garfi out and mash that like button and subscribe. Tell your friends and let's help him get some more followers on his YouTube channel. And always don't forget,